Hi to everyone. So I saw a lot of questions, a lot of misunderstandings about how high should be performed Tai Chi Chuan. Okay, so you have lots of options apparently right now and the people are very confused about what to do. There is a people from Chen Tai Chi Chuan that usually have a mid-low uh, height of performing the form and exercises. Um, then you have Zhao Bao uh, schools, they actually have an extreme low uh, height while performing the long form. Then you have Yang Tai Chi Chuan, which usually is a mid-high uh, height of performing. And then Wu or Wu Hao uh, and sometimes Li and others uh, that actually are often performed very high, almost just like standing. So what's, what's the best thing to do? Uh, what is actually good for my body? What is bad for my knees? What is uh, good for my back? What actually is improving? And most importantly, why some people or some kind of schools are performing what they do really, really low? What's that for? So it's for combat, but what kind of combat? I never saw anyone um, having a, such a low stance while having a fight. So these are all questions that are completely understandable because there's a lot of confusions around uh, what actually is the general curriculum of Yang Luchan and the sons of Yang Luchan, so what we call Yang Tai Ji Chuan. So let me say that originally, um, as well as many other traditional styles from the 18th century, uh, pretty much, or, or even before, 17, mid of 17th century, there are different ways to perform the same form. Okay, so usually any of these styles have a very long form. This form is made for build your structure, your chi, the circulation of chi, your gene, to train your tendons, to have a good posture, to be uh, coordinated, and so on and so on, are trainings. And this is not only in Tai Chi Chuan that you have this long form performed very slow. There are many others, Mei Hua, Wen Shen Chuan, many, many others of that era. Now, because it's a training, okay, because it's a training, you have different ways to perform this training. In the original curriculum of Yang Luchan, there are three different heights. One is high, one is middle, which is usually what the large majority of Yang Tai Chi Chuan in the parks, in Beijing, in the university, you see, that's a mid-level, okay? And then you have an extreme low way to perform it. So you have three options, as well as you have a more wide way of performing it, a mid way of performing it, and a very short way of performing the same kind of movements and the same kind of techniques. But one thing is that perform it wide, one thing is middle, one thing is very, very small. Same thing, just a very different way to apply it. So they thought it was a good idea to have a variety of ways that we can uh, use this kind of um, techniques. So different ways to train them. This actually happened in any kind of sport, combat, martial arts, whatever, even just like a sport. A same movement could be uh, trained uh, standing or a little bit lower or very, very low to increase the stamina and so on and so on. So that's not really rocket science. And I'm actually surprised that many people find it like a, a, have a very confrontational way of seeing this thing. Because actually, if you see it from a sport or gymnastic perspective, it's very, very normal. So why there are all of these stances exactly? So one thing, yes, I understand what I just said. So I um, can perform low, 
to increase uh, my strength of the lower part of my body. Yeah, but there are some stuff that, that, that when you see it, uh, you actually say, yeah, but this one is actually not that good because it, I can fight with that and I don't even think it's very good for my hips and for my uh, ankles and especially the knee. That's, that's actually true. But Tai Chi Chuan have a very specific way of operating, which in my opinion, which I have studied for more than 30 years, uh, Chinese martial art only, where 20 I pass it in China, studying every day, seeing many different masters. And I saw many things, I have to say. The way Tai Chi Chuan operates, it's kind of something that if you have never seen it, you are not going to guess it. Hmm? So, Tai Chi Chuan in combat have very high position, have jumping positions, so I'm jump and I'm coming down from up to down, as well as I'm coming down up. So, there's not only the linear way of attacking and defense that you can see in other styles. I'm remaining with the same high, okay? He's doesn't matter if he's remaining with the same high or not, I remain with my stance. I, I need my structure not to shift, not to basculate, not to move, not to wobbling around because it will be bad for my balance. So I stay and I attack and defense in this way. Mm. So that's, that's pretty normal. Tai Chi Chuan doesn't do that at all. So Tai Chi Chuan is really a style that combine the crane movements with the snake's movement, okay? It goes down to go up. It go up to go down. Very rarely, Tai Chi Chuan in combat, he remains on the same level as the opponent. Very rarely. And that's actually very good because you can see many people, MMA, grappling, whatever, the first thing that they teach you, if you have to put down and control the center of your opponent, very unlikely you will be able to do it if you don't shift yours first. Mm? So if you remain on the same point, same level, same height as your opponent, it would be really, really hard to actually get his center. Way more easy is going down, and up to him. He will not see it coming. He's down, up. Even better, up, down. That's brush the knee. Hmm? This technique doesn't even have any sense doing it in the same high. So I have this high, he has this high, we keep it and I do one, two. That's not actually a good technique. As a palm strike, it doesn't actually make much sense. But if I do one, two, so I land from up, down, that makes a lot of sense. Make a lot of sense this hand, make a lot of sense this other hand. As been said, and this, uh, true that Yang Luchan was able to pick a coin from the ground using his chin. So in uh, the position of snake creeps down, he was able to go down that much that was able to just level his face with the floor, pick up a coin and bring it up. So imagine this kind of people, how agile they were, exactly like a snake. So, of course, be agile is very good in combat. Hmm? Tai Chi Chuan is not a very static martial art. It doesn't work on your physical uh, strength in any way while you are doing the combat, okay? It relies on a little bit of internal power and how you make it work. In order to make it work, you need to be very agile. 
So all the people that do Tai Chi Chuan and don't do any kind of physical activity or don't want to train this kind of position doing very low or high or mid, they don't want to do any, any kind of physical effort, they are really on the wrong path. Okay, Tai Chi Chuan, let's say that implies that you are already at the level of a Shaolin monk and then later on you learn the internal, which is breathing. Mm? So it combines the experience of a Shaolin monk and Tao Yin exercises together. That means that you need to be physically really well trained in order to make those Tao Yin works all together. If you are not physically trained and you are very weak, that's really bad. Now another thing, a lot of people say that um, if I do some kind of physical activity, uh, pushing ups, uh, lifting weights, running, jump the rope, or whatever it is, that's no Tai Chi Chuan. Okay, that's completely unhistorical. It's uh, there's no record about it. That somebody is forbid somebody else to do exercise in the history of Chinese martial art. There are always a lot of tools and weights. And, and very heavy weapons that were built as a training tool in any old photographs from the training gym, we would say today, training pavilions of uh, traditional Chinese martial art. So that's no historical record of someone forbid somebody else to do something. It's true that in Tai Chi Chuan, you need to learn how to relax yourself, how to relax the big muscle, how to use your tendons in a certain way and thanks to the breathing techniques and the breathing methods then you make everything work together it's true so there is a progression it's not that you can do whatever you want whenever you want it's not like this there is a progression that your master need to follow and make you step up when is the right time otherwise you won't have the ideal results you will have other results but not the results that we want in Tai Chi Chuan okay so that's true but that doesn't say that you don't have to train okay so in the original curriculum there were a lot of very very stressful painful and and really really hard training okay these people were professional in what they were doing they were able to defeat people that were coming for challenge them every day that's not very easy. You need to be ready, not only with your body, but also with your mind. And if you never train, you are really not that at that level yet or at all to be able to handle someone who came to your gym, to came with, in your house, in front of everybody that you know, and challenge you and put you down, let's say 10 times out of 10. Eh? You need to be built in a certain way. You need to train in a certain way. Okay, so Tai Chi Chuan is not a soft martial art. Tai Chi Chuan is a very brutal, very sadic, very, very fast martial art. Honestly, I have a lot of people from MMA, boxing, that when come and train with me, they say that what I do is too dangerous because it kills people, it's not a sport. The way Tai Chi Chuan have to completely dissemble the body of the opponent, that's very unique of Tai Chi Chuan. I never saw it in any other style, done with that kind of effort, with that kind of attitude as Tai Chi Chuan. It's a very ruthless martial art. So you need to do it if you want the, the results uh, that are effective, and you want to discover what's the real Tai Chi Chuan, okay? You need to do it in a certain way. You need to do it with the right mindset, which implies also to squat down, implies also to do push-ups in a certain way, but you need to do it. You need to, to train a twist show in a certain way. If you train twist show bad, it's, it's really a waste of time, as well as the whole form. Hmm? So I really hope I clarify a couple of points and whatever question you have, just write in the comments and thank you very much for watching.